Good afternoon, it's Chris from Chrism Acrylic Pouring. We're based in East Sussex in the UK and I do appreciate you joining me today. Now, this is a bit of an experiment. I'm using green and you can tell by my voice, green isn't really one of my favorite colors, but I need to use it because I've been looking at landscapes and uh, what is a landscape without some green. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. So this is a 50 by 20 canvas and I'm using six uh, flip cups and some odd colours for me. I'm using green. I hardly ever use green. So that's going to be green and gold, blue, green and gold again and then sky colours. It's a very odd combination for me but we'll see how it goes. So in the two larger cups on the left I'm going to be using metallic gold and I'm putting silicon in these. The first cup I put quite a decent layer of the gold in because I definitely wanted to have cells in it and the cup I'm filling now I put less gold. Then I added a couple of drops of silicon to them both and gave them a good stir. So in the first cup, after the gold, I put black in. I put quite a lot of black in. I love the combination of black and gold together. Then I hit it with the green and then surprise, surprise, yellow and added some more black. This was going to be one of my weirdest cups. Then I went into a blue, so phalo blue, turquoise, which is a blue green iridescent colour, Prussian blue and then phalo blue. The second cup with the metallic gold in, I added um, an iridescent green yellow. Payne's grey and then some more greens. I was having hysterics when I was putting these colours in, they were just so not my colours and I do have a bit of a thing about green. I know this is quite a vivid green but for me green doesn't really kind of do it for me. Anyway I went on to the sky colours and I just used the iridescent blue green, Prussian blue, phalo blue, silver, cerulean blue um, and I, surprisingly enough, I didn't use any um, Payne's Grey. So the sky cups were just all different, various levels of um, the different coloured blues. I was going a bit heavy handed with the paint, but I'd rather have too much than run out. And I had way too much on the table this time. I had thinned down my paints more than I usually do. And so... <laughs> You can see there were some strange interactions, especially at the cup I'm just flipping now. It was the yellow. The yellow always creates strange cell shapes. And away I flipped them all over and then gave them a tap for good luck. The cups have been sitting on the canvas for a couple of minutes and I started doing my pullbacks. Now the paint was really runny and so I lost a lot of the first cup going off the side. You can see the silver just stretching off to the right. So this will actually create quite an interesting kind of sky finish but it wasn't what I had planned for. I absolutely love the reveal of the last cup. The black and gold look beautiful. I gave the paint a wee torch and I was concentrating on the areas which had silicon in. The other parts of the painting it was mainly to get rid of air bubbles. For anybody who's seen my last pause, you know I usually take time when I do my tilting. However, my paints were so runny that the tilting, it was just happening without me really tilting too much. I usually speed up the video about four times the speed, but this was just moving so quickly, so it's only one and a half times speed. Enjoy. Oh, and I've used some fast music to go along with the action.
I was blown away by the size of the cells on the far left hand corner. Now the gold had just totally disappeared on the other section of the green and that's because I had to tilt most of it off. You can see it's on the tray. So I wasn't getting much action with the silicon but I just persevered with the torching and I just gave everything a real good um, torch. So you can see how the cells have grown on the left hand side. But this um, green section I was only getting a few cells and I wasn't happy with the actual look of the piece so I decided to run um, a wooden stirrer on its side just to kind of collapse the cells to get rid of the round shapes. When the um, paint is fluid like it is you can pretty much change the pour um, as much as you want to. Any marks you're going to make are going to infill because the paint's so fluid. And your, it's your painting, you do what you think is best. And I didn't like these small little round cells. I needed to get rid of them. They were bringing the painting too far forward. I needed that section to recede a bit. Please excuse the swooping camera work, but you can see the bottom part of the painting I just love this combination of the black and the gold, it really looks fab. And then you've got some iridescent, the turquoise blue, really, really lovely. And then you go into the green sections and I have enhanced some of the lines and got rid of some of the cell shapes, I didn't quite like them. And then you've got some beautiful um, blue colours going up into the sky with the flashes of the iridescent silver. So what do I think overall? Green still doesn't really work for me. It may be because I've got such a luminous green that I'm using, but I wanted to try it because I'm looking at landscapes and I've been avoiding green, which isn't helpful on a landscape. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to see further paintings, please do subscribe. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.